Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you a very special video today and in this one I will be soloing waterworks, which is honestly a bit of a challenge Primarily the last battle uh, is really difficult, especially if you're by yourself You're not at death. You can't really heal and stuff like that I did heal because uh, I really don't think that you can do this without healing at this level uh, You got to heal in somewhere or another So I crafted the cosmic Chris and the stellar signet to give me that extra boost But obviously this is a budget account. No crap whatsoever so i did not have a life mastery so to combat that i ended up going with this strat that me and fair came up with uh which is empowerment and it actually worked amazingly well i cannot believe the amount of value i got from this card in the last battle and uh odyssey was just really intense and a lot of fun and i'm sure you guys will enjoy it. but i'm really happy with it managing to solo all of waterworks uh with no crowns gear all budget no mastery uh and with zero deaths is pretty impressive in my opinion uh Especially for being so me at PvE, I think it was pretty cool, so I'm glad that we got that done. Real quick, before we get the uh, video started, I just want to let you guys know that I will be getting back into PvP, and I will probably start uploading again uh, this Friday. So I don't know how much I'm going to upload, it really depends on how much I do PvP. I kind of want to focus on getting quality videos with good matches, rather than, you know, just, you know, busting out content and posting every day. Ideally, I'd like to post every day, but I'm going to try to focus on, you know, really making good content for you guys. So just stay tuned, bear with me. I might come up with like a different schedule and stuff, but for now, I'm just going to try to upload uh, as much as I can while still keeping up that quality. So stay tuned. Um, I'm going to be uploading, I think, uh, a mixture of PvP and walkthrough. I don't know if I'm going to continue to upload like the walkthrough episodes where I'm questing because you can always just watch the actual stream on Twitch or you can watch the VODs on there. Stay up for like two months at a time. So I'd recommend checking that out. But I will try to post highlights like, you know, Waterworks, Nastron, stuff like that. So just let me know how you guys feel in the comments. Uh, I'm happy to read it and then listen to you guys' feedback and advice. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a really juicy one. I'm telling you, bro, the last battle was just super intense, and I'm sure you guys will love it. So, yeah, thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it, guys, and I will see you in the next one. As always, peace out, guys. Oh, no, dude. I was hoping we'd have to do a little quest before. I guess we're going to do some mob fights, so it's not so bad, but it's time, bro. The access tower oh, back to Herman we go. Maybe I do have to do a little boss or something before this. Tell Herman what you found. Let's see. Let's go talk to, to Herman, see what's up. A ladder? Alrighty, dude. Thanks for the extra XP, though. What's up, Blake? How you doing, Versa? Alrighty, guys. It's actually time. Okay, so we're gonna put on our main set. It's gonna be mobs at first, so I'm basically... I just want to go for full damage, so I'm just making sure I have all the right gear on. I'm gonna do this amulet, though, which I bought, which just gives me extra health, because I don't need faint for mobs, you know? So I'd rather have the extra HP. We got my boy Gus now, and then we're gonna be using this for my... Um, I made two different decks, one for whatever the first dude's name is. I always forget their names, man. Luska and, like, Skylar? What? I don't know, man. Anyway, Deck of the Sage... Um, and then this should be fine. I just kind of slapped it together, but honestly, it's a mob fight, right? It doesn't need to be anything special. I'll pack a reshuffle just in case I'm an idiot or something. Okay. Uh, we're good on potions and stuff, too. I could get some health wish, though. Are there any nearby? Yeah, there's a bunch right here. All right, let's do it. Yeah, what's the name, dude? Silester, Sylvester, Skylar, dude? I don't know, dude. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Blake the Legend, literally your name is Legend, plus your Legend, so it makes sense. I just thought it would be cool to do, you know, not just Blake, since that's my main account, and like, you know, he's a myth, so Blake Legend just sounds clean. Alrighty, bro, what's the robe? I'm you, I was lucky enough to get the, um, whatever it's called, the, um, what is that dungeon, bro? House of Scales, bro, I can't, I'm, I'm like too excited right now, I can't like string my words together. Level 56 gear gives more damage than the level 60. Well, uh, you, you mean the Winter Tusk one compared to Waterworks. That is true, but Waterworks is still better. Unless you really don't need resist and health and stuff, but you do, you know what I mean? Waterworks just gives you overall better stats. But the Zigzag Robe is the best one because it gives a good combination of basically everything. It's got the best damage and crit, gives really solid resist, and it gives you accuracy and pips with good health, you know? Alrighty, bro. Let's do it. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's just a few mob fights... Um, the, the real challenge is gonna be the final boss, dude, and the puzzles, man. I'm not looking forward to these puzzles, dude, because I don't know what the hell they are, so I'm definitely gonna struggle with that. Uh, but honestly, even the first guy, what's it, Luska, whatever, that guy should be pretty easy. Okay, I don't like how these guys, uh, these guys look like they can do a lot of damage to me. Oh, I can't, you can't mark a spot in here. Alright, whatever, that's fine. I just don't want to go second and then, like, they crit a max wild bolt. But, okay, these are the stats I want, right? We already double-checked and everything. Let's just go in, dude. I got my boy Gus now. We should be chilling. 
Puzzles are very easy, you'll be fine. Well, I am Blakey PvE, so we'll, we'll see how easy it is for me, but... Yay, I go second. We should still be fine, though, right? Yeah, we should still be totally fine. Um, definitely don't need two Orthrus, so let's discard that, and then just Blade. I'll definitely pull more Blades. Luska is easy until you fizzle 50% of your attacks. Okay, please don't, like, crit- Oh my, I'm actually gonna die to these mobs. I mean, okay, he just crit a natural attack, and that's the storm. I think I'm okay here. That extra- Okay, bro, chill. This isn't PvP, man. Okay, I mean, that's good. Can you, like, poison me or something? Can you, like, deer knight? I don't know. Just dump your pips. All right, bro, chill, chill, chill. Okay, that, that's kind of sus, dude. I don't like that. I might just go for the double frog here, because if I crit, like, it kills, you know? And then if I don't crit, I can just hit again. So I think the safer move here is just to send the frog. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, going seconds a little bit sus. Yo, don't, like, crit a max wobble. Bruh. Okay, okay, okay. That would have done a thousand, though, you know what I mean? So that's why I want to hit right now, because these guys are a little bit crazy, dude. Then this guy's gonna, like, crit a Wraith on me. The other guy's gonna crit a Wobble. It's kind of bad, dude. Chill, please. I think, I think I'm gonna use my block one, too. Because an extra 10 damage, like, eh, it's whatever, right? But, like, getting a decent amount of block, like, not only is that gonna increase my chance of blocking slightly, but it's gonna really reduce the multiplier, which is, like, giving me more resist, basically. You know? How long have you been playing Wiz, uh, Blake? On and off since it came out. Literally, like, within a month of it coming out. Bro, I swear to God if I die because I fizzle or something. What pet does he have? Yeah, I have a triple-double now. I finally got my first triple-double today, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah. Myth-dealer, myth-giver, pain-giver, double res. It's pretty juicy, dude. If you fail, can I run it with you on my storm? Uh, I will be farming with viewers after this, so yeah, definitely. I think I can do it, though. Even if I have to, like, you know, even if I die in the boss fight and then I have to come back and just fight him or something, I think I'll be able to do this whole dungeon with one death. Unless I get, you know, they crit on me, max wadbolt or whatever. Yeah, it is 10-dealer, Mason. It is 10-dealer. Yeah, me too, Yasha. I remember when Waterworks came out. That was hype, bro. Alright, they just dumped all their pips, so I probably could have been okay to Blade Orthrus, but again, if they crit a Wild Bolt, that'd be really bad. I think I do enough damage that it kills the Storms with the boost, and then it might kill the other mobs too. Let's see, though. No, I'm not- uh, after this, when I farm with viewers, they have to be my level. Alright, good. The Storm mobs are dead. That's all I care about, dude. Uh, the boss is both tanked, but again, I really don't care. That's totally fine with me. The whole point was I wanted to get rid of the other ones. Alright, we have enough damage that this just straight up kills, right? Yeah. So let's just go for the, uh, second frog again. So when I do the- the farm with viewers after this, that's gonna be with people my level. So you must be legendary. You have to be within level 60 to 69. If you're outside of the level range, uh, it would be unfair, so I can't take you. No, the pet did not fail, Haruki. I actually got really lucky. So I can- I can show you the stats after this if you want to see. It's pretty doozy, though. I- I really was expecting this pet to fail, honestly. I was really expecting it to fail. Alright, there we go. We got that battle done. A little bit sus, though. If they'd- it, you know what I mean? If that guy had crit the Wild Bolt, or I'm sorry, if he- he'd done max Wild Bolt, I would've had like 100 HP. And then if I had the faint amulet on instead of this one, I would've died, too. Alright, let's go use this lever, bro. Where did you train the epic cards? I'm level 64 and only have plus 125. Uh, Celestia, floating land. And then at 64, if you have access to Drum Jungle, you can get Colossal or whatever it's called. Okay, Ice and Storms. Um, do I really need that extra damage, bro? Honestly, I think I'd rather have the block, dude. Yeah, plus it does increase my 72 block. That's pretty good, dude. I'm gonna use this. I think this is just slightly safer. Alright. Uh, also, I don't need all those hits, man. What am I doing? What am I doing, bro? Alright, we're just gonna go for the 35 blade. And then, depending- We are first this time, though, so I can play this a little bit more- Like, I don't have to be as, like, scared. You know what I mean? Hey, Blake, for the first puzzle, open all clams with blue interior before the time limit. The red was at the end of the room tell your time limit. Do not open clams with the yellow. Okay, so just open the blue clams. I got you, bro. I can do that. Why solo, man? Let's go together. Because it's a fun challenge. I will be farming with viewers after this, though. But, um, yeah. Also, if we can get the hat from Luska, or whatever his name is, that'd be awesome, man. That would actually be awesome. I think I can afford a blade one more time. Like, what are they gonna do to me, right? Crit two max wild boats, crit a bunch of Arctic Zillas and stuff. I mean, the safer move is probably to frog, though. Like, that's just the smart thing to do, is literally just to frog right now. I don't want him to crit Arctic Zilla, crit Arctic Zilla double. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna frog here. This will kill at least two of the mobs, most likely. So, it's just, you know what I mean? I wanna play this smart. Yeah, the pet is triple double, Haruki. Nice, Mega only took one try at Mega. Yeah, it did. I have not failed since adults. Uh, which was obviously really lucky, but I had horrible luck starting out, dude. Did they all die? Oh, nice, dude. Alright, cool. They all died. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I got really, really unlucky at first, man. That was brutal, dude. I got mid seed like eight times in a row, so that was not fun. But yeah, got a lot better from there on out. You can also go to the Arcanum and get Colossal as well from the school. I think you have to do the quest, but I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, if I can get that at 64, like that obviously be lit, dude. Gus is gas? Yeah, Gus is a legend, dude. Look, you're actually supposed to open the yellow clams and the blue ones bombs minions. Okay, now I don't know, uh, you know what I mean? Are you guys trolling me, bro? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna do the blue ones, bro. I'm gonna do the blue ones. All right, there you go. Blue clam, blue clam, blue clam. All right, that, that looks like that was the right move. Blue clam, blue clam, blue clam. All right, back to the blue clam. Tim's was trolling me, I think. Which one is a blue clam as well? Okay, that's all the blue clams. Yo, I swear to God, if I'm getting trolled, bro. Where's this lever at? Yo, I'm not trying to click that. Bruh. Okay, these guys better not have resist, dude. That's all I'm saying. I'm gonna go for a blade. No, I didn't open any yellow clams, dude. I didn't click X for that. So I don't know what just happened, bro. And I did that fast, man. I don't have John on John. How am I supposed to do that any faster, dude? Anyway, it's fine, dude. These, uh, these mobs about to get clapped, bro. Like, what are they gonna do to me, right? I'll just blade a frog, dude. Blade Orthrus, whatever. You got close to the time limit? How, though? I literally, like, I don't think you could have gone any faster than that without shot on John, dude. Unless there were, like, eight people. They don't have resist? Okay, good. Yeah, if they don't have res, I'm just gonna... But, I mean, they don't do damage. I'd rather just double blade, guarantee the kill. But I could just frog right now, right? I just want to fail pip, and then I can't, and then it's meat, you know what I mean? So, let's just blade again. I can afford to. They can't kill me, so I'll just do this. It's not easy, it's super fast, you're given little time. Yeah, maybe if you have multiple people, or, you know, obviously Cha and Jean, but, like, I don't have either of those things available to me at this moment in time, so, you know, I did what I could, bro. This is why Blink Your Me is a thing, but how am I me, dude? Like, explain to me how you could have done better than that, right? Yeah, I don't think you can, man. It's meant to be done with more people, I believe, but now you gotta map your way before you click the lever. Well, I thought the timer started when I entered the room, so I, like, bolted, bro. I went immediately to the blue clan, man. Hey, one of the first people to solo waterworks also failed this puzzle. Doesn't make it me. Thank you. Exactly. What's that wand? I'm using a wand that gives me a lot of block. Instead of using the Skyrim Hosta, this wand gives me, I think, something like 42 block and, um, 7 critical. Basically, what I wanted to do was go for more block so I can be more tanky. That's my goal, basically. Be as tanky as possible. So, the 42 block obviously helps with reducing the multiplier. Uh, and then the 7 universal critical means that I can crit a heal. But, obviously, the crit multiplier would be really low because, for some reason, your crit multiplier ties into your block when you're healing. Which I think is really whack, honestly. I don't understand the reasoning behind that, especially in PvE. But, you know, it is what it is, man. When is Tower of the Elephant? Looking forward to it. That'll be probably tomorrow, but I'm not going to solo that. Is this Luska? Uh -huh. Hello, buddy. Okay. So, now we need to change up our gear a little bit. Yeah, right, I'll just show you guys the setup the overall. Here are the stats, right? 3,300 <laughs> HP, 70 damage, which honestly isn't bad. And this is, again, without the damage of Thame, Ring, or the Wand. So, not bad at all, bro. 35 resist, which isn't anything crazy, but it's pretty solid for my level. 15 myth accuracy with 5 to life, which means that uh, it's pretty good, you know what I mean? I'm not going to fizzle too much. And then we've got 119 crit with 7 to life, 60 block, 42 incoming, and 40 outgoing uh, because of the cracked a Thame and Ring. And then 76 pips to match it up. So pretty good. All right, bro. Let's get it. Put me in, coach. Please let me go first. But honestly, for this dude, I don't think it matters. For the last guy, I definitely want to go. Dude, I'm really not trying to die, bro. Like, I'm actually really not trying to die. But I think I'm okay, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just be gas like that. And, uh, okay. I did not pull what I wanted, which was a info. But that's okay. I'm just going to go for the mid blade here since it's higher accuracy. Sucks that I pulled all my spirit stuff. But let's just do this, right? I really don't think he can do that much damage to me, especially having decent blocks, so this shouldn't be hard at all. It's more just trying to power stuff that's really a concern to me. Also, the guy uses balance spells, even though he doesn't even have balance mastery. So, like, you know what I mean? That does, like, no damage to me at all. If you get Rod, yeah, if I got Rod, that'd kind of suck, dude. But we're fine, dude. Oh, he does have balance mastery. It's the last guy that doesn't have... Oh, yeah, this guy's literally balanced. Okay, I'm mental. It's the, it's the Sylvester Stallone, dude. Um, let's just go for the bubble. I don't really want to discard anything. Uh, so let's just play it safe here and do this, right? He's gonna ink me again like a me head mantle every turn, but that's fine. We're just gonna go for the uh, bub here. He can't change the bubble, so it'll, it's just good extra damage, you know? 
He's gonna crit that, but again, uh, this is why I'm using a block wand. That was a 4-pip judge with a critical, right? So, base damage, that should have done 800, assuming, um... Uh, that I had zero resist and zero block, but I ended up doing 330, and I only have 35 res, so that was pretty good. Damn, bro, I'm really not pulling what I want at all. I could probably discard- I mean, I, do I really need the infows? Like, you know what I mean? I might even- I don't even think the infows that worth it. I think I'm just gonna keep buffing myself here. Let's do that. Like, I'll infow if need be, but like, let's say- Let's say I fizzle the infow, then like, I just wasted a turn anyway, you know? Okay. That's a bit unfortunate. That is indeed a bit unfortunate, but it's not a problem. Let's just keep blading. You know what I mean? Keep getting our buffs. I'll heal if I need to, but our heals do about 1900, so I have no need to heal right now. Nice, we powered that too. Good stuff, dude. I really hope I get the hat, man. That would help a lot with the last battle, giving me a little bit extra health and stuff. Perfect. We got something we can discard for. I don't even... I really don't think I need to infow, dude. Because, like, again, like, the chance of me powering these are the exact same. So if I power the infow, I would have powered a buff anyway. You know what I mean? So, I think I'm just gonna go for the spirit trap here, yeah. I don't think I need the info. Hi, Blake Cat Chat. What's good, Herbert? Yeah, this guy's like sandstorming me, bro. He's doing like no damage. 190, that's nothing, dude. Yeah, info isn't necessary. It is nice, but like, you know what I mean? If I, like, let's say I didn't foul that turn, right? That would have, the opportunity cost would have been getting me a buff, right? So he does remove traps, but he only removes the first one. And because I'm myth, uh, we're kind of chilling, bro. All right, we're going to discard that info. Um, I need to pull the rest of my buffs, so I'm just going to go for a spirit trap here. But keep everything else, yeah. And we're fine. We already have a satyr in our hand, so that was good that we pulled that, actually. And then we'll just keep going for buffs until I can pull my uh, blades. Oh, dude, I think I'm actually an idiot. I forgot to pack the blades in my deck, like that I get for my pet. So I'm going to be missing one buff, but it's okay. We, we still have more than enough damage to kill, and I always have a reshuffle if necessary. What's good, Flanders? I'm doing really good, man. Just chilling. Uh, we pulled the Myth Blade. I mean, we might as well go for that, right? Slightly higher accuracy. But I also have a lot of pips, so maybe I'll do this instead. Yeah. I want to use up some pips, ideally. Since we're kind of stacked right now. He's blading himself. We're still fine. He doesn't have a lot of pips, so... I'm only going to heal if I get, like, I don't know. What would be the full value of the 1900? If I drop under, like, 13. But then I need to be careful, right? Because I don't want to, like, you know, fizzle a bunch of times. Oh, okay. We do have the, um... What is this from? Oh, it's from the hat. Okay. I may not have the, um, the pet one equipped. But at least we have that one, so that's really good. I'm literally just going to keep buffing. Try to get all my buffs up. Nice. We powered. Good stuff, dude. Yeah, I'll go down to, like, 1k. Unless he starts getting a ton of pips, then I, I get a little bit scared, you know? Um, honestly, do I really need pips that bad, though? Let's just go for the mid-blade. Higher accuracy? If I crit, it's gonna do so much damage to him that I might even be able to just, you know, hit again. So, let's see what that is. He went for the Spectral Blast. No crit. Not a problem. Did about 400. Okay. I may want to heal just to play things safe. Let's see, though. Are uh, we fizzled that? Unfortunate, but not a huge deal. Nice, we pulled that. That's always good. Okay, let's not heal just yet, but I'm gonna go for the Spirit Trap here. Um, hopefully... Oh, you just straight up passed. Okay. Yeah, I gotta be careful. Fizzling twice in a row, you love to see it, but it's, again, not a huge deal. Um, I feel like the smart thing's just to heal here, but I guess we can just go one more, dude. He's only got... He doesn't have buffs yet. Even if he were to bleed and then crit, like... I don't even think I died to a judge. Damn, bro. We're really fizzling everything. Okay, I think he's going to hit me this turn, so I might as well heal, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Let's go for the heal this turn. It, it, it's just the safe thing to do, so let's go for that. Like, let's say he, like, crits a judge here or something, or, like, let's say he traps and then does something. Let's see. Nice. So he did hit me, so we're going to get a little bit more value. Yep, this is a perfect time to heal if we even power that, so let's see. Please power. Oh, my God. Okay, I need to pull that heal right now, dude. So, I'm going to go ahead and discard the Spirit Trap. Don't think I need that that badly. So, let's go for the uh, Seder here. I can always reshuffle, too. But I need to heal now. Yeah, he's, like, blading himself, too. Imagine he crits a Judge and I just die. Okay, chill with that, bro. You don't need to be, like, critting a Hydra. Let me get this heal off, please, dude. Send me back to full. Nice. So, base, this does 990. But look at this with my stats and stuff. No crit. That's fine. That still does, like, 1900, right? Yeah, 1968. Right back up to full. Which is obviously amazing. I'm really trying to pull my Myth Blade, my, my TC, or like the, the 40 Blade, because I want my first hit to do a ton of damage, so I'm just going to go for regular Myth Blade here, and then see what he does. Thank you, Dragon, I appreciate that. Alright, he's Sandstorming, that's totally fine. Yeah, this boss is kind of annoying, but he's not hard, you know what I mean? As long as you play it safe, especially if you can heal and stuff, it's really not a big deal. Alright, can we actually power, dude? 
All right, good stuff. So we got another blade up. That's our second regular mid blade, I think, right? Wait, what, ha what happened to my 40 blade, bro? I guess I don't have it anymore. Oh, I do have it up. I didn't know I powered that. Okay, whatever. That's fine. And that was our first mid blade, actually. Okay, so I have every possible buff now. So we might as well hit at this point, right? I just want to be in a position I can heal, but we're fine. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna just start attacking now. Might as well. We have every we have the most like the most buffs I could get possible. You know what I mean? So we'll send it now. He's gonna judge, it's fine, not a big deal. You can crit this too. 259, yeah, it does nothing. I should hopefully power this. I have good myth accuracy. Nice, dude. So if I crit this, I think he's dead. Because we have the regular 35 blade, a 35 bubble, a 35 spirit blade, a 40 blade. No crit, rip. Uh, 35 trap, and yeah. So we've got like, what, 6 buffs, something like that? This should still do like 10k with his boost around there, I'm guessing. Yeah, 11,000. Good stuff. So he's gonna ink me more, but that doesn't really change anything for us. Uh, okay. Oh, we actually did have another myth blade. Or, oh no, that's the spirit blade. Never mind. Okay, so we definitely do want to go for this, right? Yeah, and then we're gonna want a spirit trap as well. But let's let, let's go for this first because I want to get pips if necessary, you know. Yeah, hat first try would be amazing. I don't know how likely that is, but hat first try would actually be beautiful. Uh, don't need that many infals, right? Let's just keep drawing for the re yeah. There we go. We got the reshuffle just in case, but I, I I'm not gonna need it, dude. There's zero chance that I'm gonna need it. Yup, he's got incoming damage as well. All right, so I'm gonna go for the spirit trap here, and then I'm pretty sure if I just hit, he's dead. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is enough buffs because I'll have I have two blades with spirit trap and the bubble. Yeah, it should kill. So as soon as we power the spirit trap, I'm just gonna send it. Why does waterworks gear look so ugly? I think it's kind of cool. It's not meant to be like you know super insanely cool or anything. Draw a Seder just to you know be smart. Yeah, okay, let's go for the spirit trap. Oh yes, I'm getting trolled. Okay, um, I need to do where is that? In game only. There we go. Fizzle the Orthrus? Nah, Fizzle the Blade? Yes, sir. Yeah, I know, right? Even though it's I have 20% more accuracy for that, but it's all RNG, dude. Yeah, Ferret got it first try. I did get the um House of Scales rub first try, so you know I've gotten some decently lucky drops. Alright, yeah, so he's gonna go take off the live trap again. I don't care. That's you know, it doesn't change anything. And then now we just hit because we've got every buff that we could possibly have, so let's do it. I get the whole send four tries. It's pretty good, Railer. I, I know that Ferric's been farming quite a lot, and he still hasn't gotten the boost. Uh, the boots, I mean, which is pretty unlucky, dude. That was our first fail pip of this entire game, I think, and I only have like seventy-five pips or something. So, no boots and no House of Scales robe. Yeah, I got pretty unlucky with that. All right, he's blading himself now. It's a little bit scary, dude. If he gets more pips and then like crits a judge, fizzled again. That's fine. We just have to keep setting the puppies. Can't really do much else. What is this? Okay, he didn't crit that, but that's still gonna hurt. Yeah, 600. I mean, we're still fine, dude. As long as I can finally power, that'd be nice. There we go. Okay. With a crit, it kills for sure. I think even without the crit, it kills because of his 20% boost. Because I do- I have five buffs, basically. No crit again, bro. And I'm even using a wand that gives me more crit. Unfortunate. That's fine, though. I don't- I don't need to be critting. I think he's dead, right? Yep. We did need that extra spirit trap. Please give me the hat, please. Unfortunate. We didn't get it, but you know, it's fine. Low key, I would have, I think, rather gone the hat first try than gone the House of Scales robe. Actually, what am I talking about? All right, that's fine though. Um, that's not worth. We didn't get anything else, right? And then just double check no hat. All right, well, there you go. There's Luca, Lusco, whatever. Yeah, imagine I got a life mastery, dude. Oh my, I would have been so happy. But it's okay. We'll, we'll hopefully get it later. So now we use the lever. You activate the second. Got some good XP from that too, and then now we go back over here. Oh, I should have used a potion when I was out there. Whatever, that's fine. What's that mean? And it don't matter. Okay, fire and death. I don't think I need to. I'm gonna use the potion, obviously, to play it safe. But I also don't need two puppies. Yeah, that's fine. And I don't need that spirit blade either. Okay, let's go ahead and uh. Wait a sec. Let me make sure I have all the blades in. Oh no, so I did have all the blades for that one. Let's use this, and then we're good, right? Yeah, all right, put me in, coach. You need a thing from it anyway, so might as well uh, to get the masteries. Yeah, 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 might as well, dude. Get uh, two birds, one stone, right? Nice, we went first. I failed pip, but that shouldn't really matter. Uh, let's go for the 40 blade, get our bigger buffs first. 
Omen drops like six amulets each run. They, they must have buffed his rates then. Because I remember farming for Omen a long time ago. And I basically got like one amulet out of him. Crit poison, that's fine. We got the block one too, which is going to help us out a bit from that. Any deaths so far? Yeah, 15, dude. Hey, Blake, just got here. Good luck. Thank you, Bosslegum. Very much appreciated. Chess in Darkmoor drops mastery amulets. I did not know that. I didn't know that you could get masteries from uh, Darkmoor. Interesting, though. What is Omen again? I forgot. He's a gold key boss in... Um, what's that zone called? I think it's River of Frozen Tears in Polaris. I'm pretty sure. I got three Storm and Ice and two Myth in one run. Dude, okay. I might need to farm for that. They definitely increased the drop rates, though. Uh, I'm not sure, Spurgy. I, I think... Morganth might be slightly better, but I, I really don't know. I actually have no idea. Um, let's just play it again, because I wouldn't even be able to follow up with another frog. So we'll just do that and then hit next. I'm not, they're, they're not a threat to me right now, so we'll just go for the guaranteed puppies one shot. Darkmoor Mastery Amulets are level 100 plus, so also doesn't help. Oh, that's right, yeah. So like, you know what I mean? When are you going to really need that at that point? Like, it might be useful for some stuff, but I don't know. For balance, Evgeny, a thing might be better than both. Oh, yeah, Evgeny is definitely better than both of those two. 100%. But it's still, like, once you get to 90, you should still farm Blade of the Fell Titan, in my opinion. Also, if you're gonna solo uh, Darkmoor, you're gonna want, like, some Zeus gear or whatever it's called. Like, you're gonna want, I think, the Zeus boots or something like that. I think that's what Farrick's doing. Farrick's gonna go for Croc Hat, um, Rattle Robe, and then he's gonna. Oh, I actually fail pipped. Do I blade again, or do I just frog here? I do so much damage, bro. I think I should just frog. I think they're dead. Croc Cat, Rattle Robe, Poseidon Boots. Wait, Poseidon from the level 90? Or from Atlantia? And then, wouldn't you rather have Zeus Boots? Aren't those better? Honestly, I honestly don't know. I'm just curious, you know. Oh, uh, we actually crit for once. Nice. Well, I'm critting all the, all the mobs, just not the bosses. Level 90 Poseidon Boots are upgraded Waterworks. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's the move. That's what I'm gonna do, too, before I, uh, solo Darkmoor. So that's gonna be fun, dude. A lot of farming for that. Alright, getting a lot of, like, gear and stuff, but you can't even sell those at the bazaar, so not really that much gold. Alright, I believe we have another mob battle, right? Yeah, another mob battle. Ice and Bounce. These guys can shield, but, um, I don't think it's a problem. I'll add in the Spirit Blade, though. Why not? And then we'll just go straight in. Poseidon and Hades are both good. Okay. Fail pipped again. Okay, so I didn't fail pip at all for the boss battle where it really didn't matter. And then now I'm fail pipping left and right. That's fine now. We can just double blade and then Orthrus or something. We'll see. Beer be like you will be about 15 minutes. Do your thing, Yashar. Take care, man. Forget the mobs have 80 res. Yeah, that's so bad. That's actually so bad. I'm pretty honestly, Myth has been like one of the luckiest schools in so far. We're not luckiest, but I mean like there's not a lot of like difficult battles in terms of like they have a lot of res for dungeons and stuff. Bro, I'm actually fail pipping. Like there's no tomorrow. Alright, just blade again. I might go for the triple blade here. Unless they don't shield, in which case I'll just send the frog next, you know. We'll see though. Okay, good. They're not like weaknessing or anything. That's nice. Is the uh is Skylar after this? I don't know. That's gonna be so hard, bro. Uh, me and Fair came up with the strap, but I did the I did the math and I calculated I would need four buffs to be able to kill without a critical. So it's gonna be I, I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do it. But the thing is, they're not doing that much damage to me, bro. But the doom and gloom is gonna hurt. We'll see. One more mob battle after this, okay? The Artixilla, dude. If they crit this, it hurts. But we're still fine. Yeah, no crit either. Good stuff. That does like, I don't know, 400-ish. Yeah, 460. That still does mass, bro, for four pips. Okay, they didn't shield, though. Wow, I actually fail pipped again. Um, I don't want them somehow to get, like, lucky or whatever. I'm just gonna frog here. Been farming for the Fire Elegant boots since yesterday and still can't get them. The drop rates are horrible. I, I would honestly not recommend it unless you have a ton of free time and you don't mind horrible drops. Because the, the drop rate to get something is already not that great. And then there's like a bunch of different things you can get. So the chances of you getting something you actually want uh, from Mirror Lake is just really low. Alright, there you go. So now it's another, another puzzle. I don't know exactly what that is, but... Alright, there we go. Getting good XP though. I don't think we level up from this, but... Alright, back to the lever, dude. Okay, what the heck is this, dude? I'm gonna I'm just read the pedestal. 
Start here to play follow the lead. Oh, okay, you just follow this dude, and he's like, yeah, okay, you do this, and then I'm brainless, and then he's telling me where to go. Yes, this is very complicated. If I mess this up, I'm actually the biggest Timmy you know to man. Uh, okay. I think we're just done. Nice health wiz too. Good stuff. But yeah, I, I will do Tower of the Hellifit with people my level. That'll this probably be tomorrow. Will ruin everything okay, I don't think these guys have Mithrasis, but I'm gonna double them. check just in case. Uh, Celestian Construct. Eighty resist of fire. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Uh, we still have the deck and everything. Yeah, we're good. Even if I go second, we're fine. Dude, I'm actually fell pipping so much now, but it's it's annoying, but it's not not a huge deal. Uh, Blake, what's a Timmy? It, it's sort of like uh, it's just an embodiment of like a type of person, you know. It's just like a joke. Solo Halifant is easy on myth. I did it on mine. All you do for the first fight is use double hit like Worthless and Minnow to get around 90 shield. Well, what level were you when you did it? Timmy from South Park? No, but I love Timmy from South Park. Waterworks is like gambling? How so? 65? Nice, dude. That's really good. Okay, we actually didn't fail pip. Um... Just gonna blade again, right? Yeah, just blade. Hopefully you don't fill pip. I can puppies. Otherwise, I think frogs just kills you without a critical. My damage is really, really good now. Since my pet has pain giver now, and then the rest of my gear has the skills rub too. Yeah, I know, Wizzy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But I I'm just gonna I'm gonna do that with viewers. So like this run, I'm only oh he got a shield. Okay. If I get a fail pip here, I'm gonna blade one more time and then Orthrus, I think. No, oh, I actually did fail pip. Okay. Yeah, it's probably best to just. But I mean, the thing is, if I crit, I'm pretty sure he's still dead. Let's just play it again, dude. It's whatever. Get the double damage. And then he's for sure dead to the puppies. Did you get the hat? No, I didn't. Unfortunately not. But hopefully we'll get it on the next run when I farm with viewers. If not, then, you know, like, you only have to do a couple mob fights to get to, you know, whatever his name is. Sylvester Stallone. Can I join too? I would love to still get the boost from here. Absolutely, Farrakh. Absolutely, bro. I, it would be an honor to farm with you. Alright, so the battle's right after this, right? Oh my god, I'm making sure I go first, so there's no way I do that battle second. I could do the, you know, Sylvester Stallone from second, but there's no way I'm doing that guy. Because there's three of them, not just one, and they do good damage and stuff, so it's gonna be difficult. He can also drop the hat? Oh, okay, that's clutch, dude. That's actually super clutch. Why use uh, Waterworks hat over Winter Tusk hat? Because I want to go for a balanced setup and with a lot of like defensive stuff. So Waterworks just gives you more resist, basically, which is nice. Also gives, I think, higher accuracy, stuff like that. It just kind of complements your stats pretty nicely if you're going to solo. But I do really like the blade uh, that the Winter Tusk hat gives. Squid drops just boots, I believe. But the last guy drops all of them. The squid drops just the hat. I'm I'm 90% sure. You activate the fourth. All right, bro. Latch. We're here, dude. Now to turn yeah, I, I agree, Farrakh. You have a lot of other buffs chamber. as well, especially if you have a pet that gives you an item card. You really don't need it. Yeah, and you can always use Shango and stuff like that. I, I bought Shango today, but I don't even know if I'm gonna end up using that. We'll see. Alrighty, dude. Oh man, this is where it gets tough, dude. So far, it's been pretty breezy. Obviously, trying to play smart, but it hasn't been difficult, honestly. <sighs> okay. So for this setup, we're going to be using the uh, Winter Tusk hat, since I don't have waterworks, the Hassle Scales robe, and the Winter Tusk boots. Uh, for the wand, we're using this one for block. For the Athame, obviously the Cosmic, so we can heal even though he's a Doom. This to get more health, Stellar Signet, uh with Gus, and then we're using Boss Deck 2. And then let me show you that. Okay, use the potion. I need every amount of health I can get. Holy! Alright, guys. I think we're ready to go in, dude. Let's do it, baby. Okay, so I need to go first with a decent starting hand. Otherwise, I'm out. I'm out, bro. Okay. I uh, didn't even pull the empowerment, which I low-key need. But at the same time, do I really need empowerment for this? Like, is it that necessary to get empowerment right now? Yeah, I think I need to flee, bro. I, I need the empowerment. Like, I actually need the empowerment, bro. Yeah, true, Farrick. I don't know how many of those pips I'll need necessarily, you know? Can we get the fire? Oh, where rip. I probably should have tried to get the fire first, huh? Bruh. Please, dude, please. There we go. Okay. Discard the first empowerment. Discard a myth to spell. Um, discard a mid trap as well. 
I want to pull the faint really badly. Let's just do this. All right, first turn empowerment. All right, guys, here we go, baby. Let's see how this works. Empowerment first turn, so we can get a ton of pips. Uh, I'm gonna take some fatty damage, though. If I get some crits on me, this is gonna be pretty bad. All right, oh, he fizzled. Okay, I was low-key hoping he'd power, because then they can't, like, buff. But that's okay. What is this guy doing? All right, they're literally all fizzling. Nice, empower value. All right, that's perfect. He just dumped all his pips, and he did Meteor Strike. That's that's actually amazing. Only 200 damage, and we got a pip from that. So that, that's the best possible case scenario. Didn't- Oh my god, bro. What Bad pulls, dude. Bad pulls. Yo, Loki, I can blade, though, right? I can blade this turn? I can't blade. That's right. That's so bad. Well, I'm not gonna need that anymore. I'm gonna mid this well this turn. That's kind of bad, bro. Alright, I'm gonna dispel this guy. So we're gonna do this. Get the dispel on him. Uh, what the heck are you doing, bro? Relax? Alright. Hope you pull a trap next. Yeah, I really hope I pull the faint, man. My deck is a little bit big. That's like the worst thing that could happen, dude. That is actually the worst thing that could happen, bro. Please show with that. Why didn't you trap? Uh, Because I need to pull the faint. And I can't afford to discard anything. He crit that too. That's so bad. That's actually so bad. Okay, that didn't do too much. We're, we're okay here. I needed to pull the faint. The myth trap is not enough. I did the calculations. I need the faint. That guy just crit the poison. Okay, I mean, there are worse things he could have done, but that's still kind of bad. We got another pip, though. Please give me the faint. Please. I just lose, right? This is so bad. Oh, my God. Okay, we actually... Oh, my. That's so clutch. All right. That's so clutch. That's so clutch. We're okay. We're all right, guys. We're okay, bro. We pulled it. We pulled it. Okay, so now we faint this guy. That's huge. That's huge. That's huge. All right, so now we do this, and then we're going to need to spirit blade, mid blade, and then blade again. And I need to pull the Orthrus as well. So I need to pull now pretty badly. All right, please don't hit me. Let the overtime take it off. Of course, he goes for a Wraith. Unfortunate. Double blade, Seder Orthrus. It's not enough damage, Ferric. I did the math. Unless I crit on him, it's not enough damage. I need four buffs, dude. 468, okay. Yeah, I might need an Orthrus though. I might need to pray at critical. I actually think I might have to pray at critical because I'm going to need to heal, I think. You can Seder right after the Orthrus. We'll see. We will see, bro. I'm going to discard the Seder. I have 10 in my deck and I need to pull other things. Okay, so we can discard that. Discard this. Let's use up a new pit because we might as well, right? Um, I'm going to discard that too. I can always reshuffle. I'd like to pull my special blades if possible. Okay, so now I can blade, because now he does his, his thingy. So we go for the spirit blade now, obviously. This is a good idea. And then we're going to need to pull uh, some blades real fast. Real, real, real fast. Real, real, real fast. All right, there you go. So the myth this spell makes it so that he can't take off the faint, which is really important because we needed that faint early on. So now we go for the spirit blades. I, I might have to just pray for a critical, honestly. I think that's the move, dude. I think that's the move, man. Because I'm going to need to heal. There's no way I can do this, right? Yeah, dude. The guy's critting a Hellofin on me with the trap, bro. Wait, dude. Wait, bro. Please don't crit. He crits. Can I block? At least I have good block multiplier. Yeah, I'm going to have... I have to pray for a critical, dude. I got to pray I get lucky. Because I'm not going to be able to heal out. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be able to survive. I'm going to have to heal, dude. There's no way I don't. Yeah, there's actually zero chance. I need to heal this turn too, right? Yeah, I, I'd get full value out of a heal, so I need to heal right now. If I don't pull a Seder, that's really bad also. Okay, we did pull that. Good. That's really unfortunate. That's really unfortunate, dude. I have to discard one of these. Okay, good. We pulled. Risky, but we pulled it. Alright, I have a 5% chance to fizzle this. I have a 5% chance to fizzle this, dude. All right, good. We powered. We powered. That's only going to do about a 1,000 unless I crit. And even if I crit, I don't think it does much at all. All right. Yeah, it's doing like, what, 980 or whatever? Yeah, 980. That's still good enough. And we got value from the empowerment. So that was good. Empowerment gave us a lot of value there. Good. He trapped. Okay. I have to pray for a crit, dude. If I don't crit, I lose. I 100% lose. He's poisoning. No crit. That's fine. Uh, I need a hit here, though. Right? We're actually... No, I can blade, right? Because I spirit bladed. Then, yeah, I can blade one more time. I can... Right? Right? I'm pretty sure. Guys, can I blade this turn? You can blade once. Right, right, right. Okay. Let's discard that. He's only got four pips. I think it's better to risk it here and go for the buff, dude. 
Yeah, let's blade. Let's blade this turn. I got a blade here. I got. I, I really need to crit on the fire mob. Otherwise, I think I'm screwed. No, I don't want to go for the 40. I need to save the 40 for stacks. Because the, the 40 is not going to make a difference, dude. It's either I crit and we kill, or I don't crit and it doesn't kill. The 40% is, uh, trust me, it's better for me not to use it. I need to save it. I need to save it 100%. Let's discard that Mythos Ball, draw for a Seder. Alright, we got a shield. I got to send this. Pray I don't fizzle, dude. I got to pray I don't fizzle, and I got to pray that I crit and land on the fire mob. Otherwise, I think it's GG's. If, if, we can, if we can tank, if we kill the fire mob, I think we can win this. But I need to crit, and I need to kill the fire. Okay, we crit. Please land on the fire, bro. Please land on the fire. If it lands on the fire, we're chilling, bro. I do enough damage. Please, bro. Please. Oh, that's huge. That's huge. All right, fire's down. Fire's down. Okay, okay, okay. This is really intense now. Uh, this is really intense. That guy just... Please don't crit. Please don't crit. Nice. All right. That didn't even do that much. We're chilling, bro. I think we can do this. We need to be very careful, though. I would like to empowerment here, but I don't have that, obviously. That's a great pull, though. Um, would I rather draw for an empowerment or a satyr? I think I need to draw for a satyr, bro. All right, we're gonna tower shield this turn, though. I don't know. Okay, this is tough, though. So what is he doing now? Does he take out blades, or what is this? Dude, this is actually so hard, bro. I think I might still die, but at least we killed the fire mob. I'm really happy about that. Traps round now? Okay, so he takes out blades, right? Okay, okay. So now we can trap for four turns. I think I need to kill that mob ASAP. That, that's what I'm gonna have to do. So we're gonna shield this turn, which is good, because the overtime's now gone. So that's going to save us a little bit of health. And then I might even just trap the mob. What is this guy doing? Oh, oh I forgot he cheated first. I was like, what was that? Okay, that guy passed. Let's see what I want to do here. I might just go for the faint on the minion and then send it. I think that's the right move here, right? I think if I go for the faint on this guy and then send the puppies next turn, then I can start healing. Plus, I have a tower shield on now. So, I think it's best for me to faint right now. Hope that we get a power pip and then I can hit next. And then it's just literally me and Sylvester Stallone. So, now we faint. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Trap me. Trap me or something. Okay, whatever. That's fine. At least uh, he's not going to do any damage. But we lose our shield. So, if this guy crits like a fire spectral blast or a hydra, I could really be in trouble. Let's see though. He went for a fire spell too. Good. He fizzled. That's so huge. That's so big. Okay, do we want the shield here? Or do we would just want to attack? I think I'm going to shield and then attack. Because this guy can't do anything. He has one pip. So I think I'm going to shield. Because that guy's really the threat here. And then I'm going to... Uh, puppies next turn. And then I'm going to start healing. So tower shield is my best move now. Yo, don't shield him. Bro, bro, chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill. chill. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. Oh, what the hell? Okay, that did nothing. The, the puppy still kills, right? Ooh, with the faints and my damage. I think I need another buff. I have to hit, though. That literally... That's so bad. I need to hit here. I don't have a choice. I need to hit here. I, I actually have to hit here. I don't have a choice. So we need to critical. If we don't crit, the death mob tanks. And I think I lose. Please crit, please crit, please crit. Okay, please just land. I don't care about the boss. You just land on the bo on, on this guy. He blocked last time or I didn't crit on him. Please, dude. No, he tanked with 400, dude. The satyr saved him. No, dude. The satyr actually saved him. I'm gonna need to reshuff as well. Okay, it's not over yet, but that's really bad. Okay, we we're gonna have to commit to reshuffling. There's no doubt about it, right? That's so unfortunate, dude. That's actually so unfortunate. So at this point in time, I'm just gonna look for defensive cards. So let's just go ahead and tower shield, like, basically every turn. So that's what I'm going to do right now. That's really unfortunate, dude. That's so unfortunate that it crit, too. If he didn't crit, oh, he would have tanked with, like, a... That's so unfortunate, man. All right, whatever. All right, dump your pips, please. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to keep spamming tower shields here. And then I'm going to need to, like, dude, as soon as I can Orthrus, I got to Orthrus, basically. But I also need to... Dude, I need to pull for Empowered. Low key, maybe. Does he take off my shields here? Okay, no, no, we're good. We're good. Low-key, I wish... I, I shouldn't have drawn so much. I need to draw an Empower this turn. That would have been ideal. Yeah, this is where Frog would have been amazing. <sighs> I'm just gonna shield again and then pray I don't fail Pip. Right? Yeah. Empower would have been nice this turn, but I have to do this. I, I think I lose, guys. Yeah, I should have held on. Yeah, I think I lose now. Unless we get really, really lucky here. What the heck is this, dude? Don't poison me, please. 
All right, he natural attack to the tower shield. We're fine. Okay, hopefully the bounce boss, like, I don't know, just like a sandstorm. And then I can puppies and somehow get, get enough pips to do this, dude. Let's see. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. I don't care. Like, obviously, that's still gonna hurt, but, like, the tower shield's gonna help me no block either. Okay, yeah, we're, we're totally fine. Please don't power pip, and then we're good. I mean, please power pip, and we're good. Okay, okay, okay. We need to reshuffle, so I'm just gonna get rid of this. Uh, let's keep... Let's just go for this, because I know it kills, right? Well, might as well use our, be our better buff, right? Yeah, we might as well just use our better buff, dude. So, let's send this. Let's go for this now. Okay. I use the bigger one to get a little bit extra damage. Are we powered? We're at 595 HP, but the boss can't overtime. So I think we're good now. If I can pull the empowerment and get some value out of it, I think we can actually still pull this off. The the boss we, we got a little bit unlucky there. We did get lucky that we criticaled on the fire boss, but every other piece of RNG was pretty bad, dude. But it's okay, we're fine. Does he get a power pip here? He does. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and empower him now. Uh, we have so many empowers now, though. I need to start pulling for the reshuff. Perfect, okay. So, we're gonna go and do this now, obviously. And then, I'm gonna need to start satering as soon as possible. We are running no low on shields, too. So, I need to be careful. I definitely need to be careful. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and, um... Discard that. And then, just keep drawing from side. Okay. Loki, wish I had more shields now. But, that's fine. That is a-okay, dude. Reshuffle is three pips? Yeah, it's three pips. Because it's a treasure card. I, I need to heal like three times to get back to full. But the thing is, again, he can't overtime me. So if I can if I can just stay alive a little bit, we're fine here. Okay, he passed. Lost the Amplify too. Um, I'm not even going to shield here. Because he's probably going to dump all his pips with whatever he does. So I'm just going to straight up pass again. He passed as well. Uh, Now we Seder, right? Yeah, now we go for the Seder. And it doesn't make a difference with my power pip. So I just want to do this to get a little bit more health, right? Okay. I would love to critical a heal. I'm not sure how much that would help me. Oh, okay. All right. So normally we would do what? 984 with the critical. It does 1020. Okay. So the crit gives us like 40 extra. It's still better than nothing. And we get a pip back from it. All right. My man just fizzled. That's good. We lose the empowerment this turn. So let's go ahead and do that. We might be able to pull another empowerment too. So let's just do this right now. All right. We can actually come back, bro. We can actually come back, dude. So now we empowerment again because we want to just keep getting pips. That's what we want to do right now. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. At least he didn't critical. Do I get... I get one pip from this, right? Or do I get three pips? Because it's three different hits. I think we just get one. But that's still better than nothing, right? Yeah, we still get one. Okay. No need to shield here. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna heal again to get the value from that. Alright, so now we go for the Seder, right? Do I need to draw from main deck or should I draw from side? Uh, let's, ju let's just leave our main open and not play a stupid here. Empowerment is actually giving us insane value this game. So now I'm going to Seder again for another 1,000. Uh, and I'm going to wait to reshuffle. But I think we got this now. I, I think... Because he can't overtime me. So, like, I I'm running out of tower shields. But, like, he doesn't even do that much damage anyway. And he doesn't even have a mastery. So if we can just keep getting kills off, that's really, really good, dude. Like, that's insanely good. So we'll just do this, right? Nice. 984, good stuff. What is this guy doing? He's, like, oaring himself. That's fine. Oh, no. See? No point to shield now when he has low pips. I'm not going to shield for, for an attack like that. No way I'm shielding for an attack like that. All right. So we're now out of main deck cards. So I can play completely offside at this point. Uh, should I be shielding this turn? Nope. I'm just going to pass. I can shield next if need be. He's going to go for, like, what? An amplify here? Yeah, it's okay. Um, do we want a tower? Yeah, because I'm probably going to want a tower and then Seder or something. All right, we're going to heal one more time and then I'm going to go ahead and reshuffle. So towering here is my best move. Just because I'm going like, to, I don't care what he does here, right? What is this? Okay, that's fine. I'm going to heal again. We still have the empowerment up, right? Or low key, I should play empowerment and then do it, right? Because I'm going to lose it right now and I want to get more pips. So let's go for the empowerment first, then Seder, then reshuffle. Yeah, this is a little bit better. So let's go Empowerment now. Then we're going to Seder. And then we're going to Reshuff. I might even double Seder or something. Okay, that's totally fine. He's amplifying me while I still have a shield. I don't know how many shields I have left. Loki, I want to like to see. But I don't think it's much. Okay, we're going to go ahead and obviously Seder now. Because even if I critical, we still get the full value. So I'm going to go ahead and Seder. I think we got this though, guys. It was close, bro. It was really close. But we got it, I think. Empowerment strat, actually 200 IQ. Shout out, Farrick. Farrick was the one who uh, suggested the idea. All right, what the heck is this? All right, now we Seder. Hopefully get some more pips, too. Nice, bro. Nice, dude. Another thousand. Sad day to be a doubter indeed, bro. You gotta believe, dude. You gotta believe. All right, go for like a... What is this? 
Alright, that's the best thing that could happen. Ice too, that's perfect. And we get a pip. So that does like negative damage. Don't need a shield here, so I'm gonna use this opportunity to reshuffle. Yeah, I'm gonna use this opportunity to reshuffle, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead and do this now. And then we'll reset all our cards, which is amazing. I don't get an extra pip from this, but it doesn't matter, right? Like, who cares? We use our new pip too? Oh my god, this is so good, dude. We actually got this in the bag. Oh, I forgot. I should have discarded some stuff. That was not very intelligent of me, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and- I can discard a Seder, I think. Plus, we have another reshuffle, just in case. Honestly, I could discard two. I need to play aggro now, because I'm basically at full HP. You can't overtime. So, I'm gonna go ahead and Tower Shields here. And then, uh, I, I, I don't know what cycle he's about to do, so I need to pay attention for that. We can, we can one-shot him, honestly. I just gotta wait for whatever he's about to do. Pull the empowerment again. Low-key, don't think I need that anymore, so let's just not even worry about that. Let's just go for... I'm gonna discard that satyr, too. Um, need to keep all the towers, though. Let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And then we can start myth dispelling him, too. I think he traps now. We're about to find out. He still doesn't have his cheat, so I might just shield again. I know I'm, like, like you know, not getting amazing value. What, what was the last cheat, bro? I wasn't paying attention. I actually wasn't paying attention, so... I think he does a cheat now, though, so I'm gonna go ahead and myth the spell him, right? There you go. So he, he does some cheat now. So we can literally just spam myth the spells and then do whatever we want, right? Okay, okay. So now we can trap, right? Now we can trap. So that's what I'm gonna need to do. Now we're just gonna get a bunch of traps up, right? Is it blades now? Okay, it's blades, it's blades, it's blades. Alright, whatever. We myth the spell him, and now we go for blades. Check DMs after the run. Alright, back Ferrick. Sounds good. I will. Alright, did solid damage. I'm down, dude. Okay, so because we want to go for blades... Can I pull, like, a TC mid blade? Low-key, we don't need to pull for it yet. And low-key, I mean, I should hold on to towers, but the guy just... He's not doing any damage, bro. If I play aggro, we're good. Also, I don't need that many guards. I have, like, four Orthruses in my deck. I'm not gonna need more than, like, what, three? Yeah, so let's go discard both of those. And then do this. Keep the mid to spell, just in case. But now we're gonna get our blades up. He enfeebles, that's fine, though, because we're allowed to blade right now. So I'm good for four turns. Then we'll mid the spell again, and then get a bunch of traps, right? Mantle, you're nasty. Can we pull a mid blade? Alright, perfect. Uh, discard the empowerment, because obviously we don't need that. Don't need two myth spells. Let's keep, uh, we can discard two puppies, right? To pull for our other stuff. Yeah, let's discard both the puppies. Just go for the mid-blade here. Because let's say I fizzle, I'm going to want to pull a main deck mid-blade again. Yeah, okay, good. That's fine. So we discarded two guards and two of those. I'm totally fine here. Alright, um. Discard the empowerment. I don't think I need two faints. Um, and let's just go for the mid blade now, right? Yeah. I, I want to pull for a TC mid blade though, right? Because I get one extra blade after this. We might pull a main deck blade though, but I feel like that's a little bit risky. So let's pull from side. Nice. We got the blade. All right. Perfect. Uh, let's do this. So we're going to go ahead and mid blade now, and then I can blade one more turn, right? No, actually, no, I can't. Cause that was the, no, no, that was the third round. We got a spirit blade, a fizzle, and then this. You're gonna lose the blades? I'm gonna hit before. I'm gonna hit before I lose them. I can blade one more turn, right? Or do I need to hit right now? I'm pretty sure I can blade one more time. Everybody's saying hit. Okay. You lose them now? I've admit the spell, though. I literally have admit the spell, but okay, dude. I'll listen to you guys. We only have two blades right now, but that's fine. Oh, you're right. It's this turn, huh? Because of fizzle. Okay, I did the math round. Oh, the myth the spell's only for traps? Wait, what? Okay, does he enfeeble me? Wait. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, bro. It's okay, we have another reshuffle. Nah, I kind of screwed that up, but it's alright. We have another reshuffle. I'm totally okay here. I can honestly just keep, like, spamming him down. I don't even need the Mythos spells anymore. We landed the crit, too, so that's doing a good bit of damage. Probably, like, 25 hundo. Yeah, 26. We're, we're totally fine. So now I can trap, right? I can trap for three turns. That's how this works. Alright, I'm gonna need to reshuffle again. So I'm gonna discard all of this and literally just go for the faint. Alright. Yeah, just go for the faint. We still have our uh, tower shield up too, and I don't really need pips at this point, so we'll do this. Hit on the third turn. Okay. So I'm gonna faint now. I'm gonna trap next turn, and then I'm gonna hit. Hopefully we don't fail pip twice. That would kind of suck. 
Don't fail pip. Don't fail pip. Perfect, dude. And we got the myth trap and the enchant. That's actually perfect. All right. So let's go ahead and discard the myth spell since we really don't need that. And then we're going to go for the myth trap. Yeah. I might need to reshuffle a third time, dude. Still worth to mint this spell, so you can use some blades before hitting. It's okay. I'm just going to do it like one by one. You know what I mean? We're fine. There's no reason we should lose at this point, so I want to play it smart and safe. Okay, um, we can discard another feint since I only have one set of hits left. And then let's go for the puppies here to maximize our damage since we need to hit now. Why are you using uh, mint this spells? Because it counters his cheat. Alright, hopefully we crit this because with the feint, it'll actually do a lot. No crit, unfortunate, dude. No shot you're doing as this a myth I did, bro. We are actually well, you know, I could still die, right? So let's not, you know, let's 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 not get too crazy here. But yeah, we're we're so far, we haven't died. And I, I'm soloing this. No crowns gear, all budget walkthrough. Okay, now we can blade, right? But the thing is, like, I won't be able to hit in time. I literally won't be able to hit in time. So I have to just pass, basically. And then start trapping again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to do that. There's, like, no other option. Can we pull a TC mid trap? Perfect. Okay. Low-key, I don't need to discard anything. I, I can't hit with the blades, so I might as well discard my blades. See if we can pull a tower. We got the reshove, at least. That's fine. He doesn't do that much damage, though, so I'm not concerned, bro. Blake, you complain about spamming shields in PE, but shielded five times. Right, because, you know, solo waterworks is the exact same thing as, like, player versus player. You're right, dude. You have the pips just in us unless you felt it twice. I'd rather not take the risk, dude. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play it safe. This is fine. We'll wait that out, which is not a problem to me. Um Okay, we're not really pulling anything, but that's again. Okay. Uh yeah. I don't even need to pull from side at this point. I don't need Saders either. I'm gonna end up reshuffling, so let's just go ahead and pass again here. Now I can trap, right? Can I trap this turn, guys? Am I allowed to trap here? I have to trap next turn? Still blades. Alright. I mean, we might as well empower then. It doesn't really do anything for me, but I guess for the reshuffle, it might help a bit. So we'll do this. Would have preferred a tower shield, but again, he can- You he, you crit Seder all you want, bro. I'd actually rather he Seder himself, because with the crit, it does 600, you know? That's doing nothing. Yeah, empowerment's been so clutch, dude. Like, insanely clutch. Alright, now we can trap, correct? So now I'm gonna go for the faint. Yeah, okay, good. So now we trap, and I can trap three times or two times? I can trap three times, right? I can faint two different traps and then hit. Yeah, yeah, okay. If we crit, I'm pretty sure he's dead here. Let's see, though. If not, we'll just reshuffle and then reset, you know? Alright, so there you go. Buff number one. Actually, I think I have a TC faint in my side. If I can pull that, I'm down. I might, I might have one more TC faint. Yeah, we do. Perfect. I'm doing that. Why not, dude? Why not, bro? Let's go, baby. All right, there we go. Second faint on him. He can't kill me with anything. Now we go for the main deck one because it's just, you know, they're, they're exact same. Might as well save the gold and the TC, right? So now we go for the mid trap and then we puppy some next. And I think he's dead even without a critical. So as long as I power this, I think, I think this is it, guys. I think this is it, baby. Solo Waterworks, zero deaths, dude. No way, bro. No way, dude. There's no way we actually just did that. There's actually no way. Crit 2, let's go, baby. No block. No block, it's over, dude. Believers represent, baby. That's what I'm talking about, dude. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Oh you my god. Me. We got the robe. I'll take it, though. I'll take it, bro. That's, dude, oh my, that was nice, dude. That was actually really nice. I think we only got the robe, but we can double check. Yeah. Bit unfortunate, but I, I don't think we got the boots, right? Let's see. Yeah, we only got the robe, dude. Hit the chest, I can't. It's Budger Walk, dude. Three more accuracy. Yeah, here are the two rubs compared to each other. The accuracy is nice, you know? You do lose pips, though. You gain some block. I mean, it's not a bad robe, right? I might actually even use this for the actual resist, but... Obviously, I would have preferred boots or something. But anyway... Wow, dude. We actually... We actually did it, guys. Level 64 as well. I didn't get full value out of the energy, but I don't even care, dude. Holy... Wow. 
I'm I'm low key. I'm, wow, dude, that was tough. I'm not gonna lie, that battle was really tough, dude. But it was super fun, man, and we were actually able to do it. It was a very close call, but yeah, healing was the move, and empowerment was 100% the move, dude.